guys welcome to another video i am particularly excited about today's video one because i am one month old and it's been amazing i want to thank you for your support thank you for the love that you've shown so if you're new here please remember to hit that subscribe button like the video and watch other videos that i've done so far turn on the notification bell for future content so and to my number one supporter thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you today we are making a rotisserie chicken i love this type of chicken because it's one easy to make quick and you can actually combine the uh, accompaniment as well while baking it it's like a one pot meal but this is baked so that's the only difference this recipe can be used either when you're doing rotisserie like i have done or you're doing roasted chicken or on your cast iron pan or when you're doing over the fire grilling so either of those you can easily adjust because in this recipe you're going to be basting it so even if you're doing over the fire the chicken will not be dry and the butter in it is going to help uh, retain the moisture the thing with all these recipes is that you can personalize them that's the beauty of cooking you do not have to take something as is you can always personalize it and it's always beautiful when you do that the one thing i need you to note is cross-contamination so whenever you're dealing with any type of cut beef, beef uh, pork mutton or chicken always try to avoid cross-contamination this is to mean you first need to ensure that your hands are extremely clean because this recipe you're going to use our hands a lot and it might seem a little messy but that's that's what it takes so ensure your hands are thoroughly clean like seriously clean also you need to ensure that your surfaces are clean and that you're not touching everything you know before you touch another utensil or your spices please ensure that you've cleaned your hand or have them prepped ready to go so that it's just dunking them or start with those that uh, cannot contaminate all these other things and then come to the chicken or the beef or the pork as the last thing so i'm usually very thorough when it comes to that and you'll see there's a part that I actually use parchment paper, but if you don't have parchment paper and you want to avoid cross contamination, you can use cling film on your cutting board or even a foil, just an aluminum foil. For today's chicken, we're going to be doing a lemon herb chicken. So whichever herb you have around, and if you do not have any herb, but you have the mixed herbs, you can use that. You can substitute the rosemary that I have used and use thyme instead or bay leaf or curry leaves or a combination of all that or the dry mixed herbs. The rub is up to you, whatever you have available or your preference, whatever your palate loves. So for me, I usually love rosemary. It's It has a beautiful scent and it makes the house smell glorious. Hmm. In a kupanja. <laughs> so anyway, we, we're going to start. So these are the things you're going to need. We have a broiler chicken. Um ensure that it's properly cleaned. And then we're going to start with our shallots or any onion that is available to you. This is just my preference, but you can use any that you'd like. Then dice them into quarters. Then you're going to have cloves of garlic then four is enough for me but if you love garlic you can add more for basting you're going to have two tablespoons of vegetable oil i use coconut oil and lemon or lime the one that you have in the house then you're going to give it a good shake to properly incorporate it like mix it into one liquid and then to that you're going to add a branch of rosemary then shake it set it aside so that it can um, develop the flavors you are going to take one tablespoon of butter and then finely chopped dania 
You can mince the dania either by knife like I have done or you can use a food processor or a grinder, whichever you prefer. I personally prefer using knife because it gives you the control and proper textures. Then you're going to add this dania to the butter. You'll then add in your black pepper and your salt to this mixture and properly combine everything together into a uniform paste. Once that is done, we're going to set it aside and start in with our chicken. You'll realize that I've put parchment paper underneath my chopping board. That is just to avoid cross-contamination. Then you're going to pat dry your chicken just to be sure. Once that is done, just run your finger between the skin and the chicken itself just to create some space because that's where we're going to fill in our rub. So you do this on all sections like the entire chicken, the thighs, the drumstick and even the back. You create the space. So there are different ways you can do this. This is just how I prefer doing it. But feel free to do it in a method that suits you or sits well with you. Ensure that you put this rub all over the chicken in all the spaces you created, the thighs, the chest, and the back. When doing this, ensure that you are having an even layer all over the chicken so that you don't have sections with uh, lumps of butter and others lacking. you're done with filling in the external bits you now take in a little bit and fill in the cavity then you're going to add in our fillers the shallots and the garlic as well as rosemary so if you have the chicken uh, organ meats you can also put them inside but if you don't want to you can leave that aside i just prefer cooking everything at once sometimes then add in at least two branches of rosemary or any other herb that you're using using the leftover rub you're going to just gently apply it on the surface of the chicken around it and then you're going to now start folding the wings as illustrated towards the back once this is done we're going to start prepping our rotisserie so this is what you're going to use it comes with every oven you're going to release one end and then adjust the other end to where you want it to be. Then once you do that, secure it tightly because now that will be the anchor. At this point, you're going to preheat your oven because this won't take long. Then insert the skewer in the chicken cavity. And if you find that you have space, you can add in more fillers. This can be anything you want. And then ensure that you tightly secure the chicken before you adjust it. I have a kitchen thread, but if you do not have a kitchen thread, you can use the skin between the thighs by piercing it on both sides. And then this is where the, the drumsticks are going to go through. But since I have the kitchen thread or the butcher's thread, I'm going to just secure the drumsticks using the thread and this is how you're going to do it. Once that is done, take the other end and tightly secure the chicken to the skewer. We're going to put that aside and prep the other accompaniments now everything is ready and this goes to the oven for around 1 hour 30 minutes to 2 hours based on your preference
Start basting your chicken after half the baking time and also turn in your potatoes or whatever you've put in so that it's evenly cooked on all sides. We have our chicken ready now and it looks just beautiful with a crusty skin. Allow your chicken to rest for around 5 minutes before you start uh, serving it. Once you have sectioned your chicken, you can go ahead and serve and enjoy the meal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you happen to try it, Kama Kawaida, tag my underscore jikoni on Instagram, comment down below, let me know how yours turned out or the challenges you had, I will respond to them. I've inserted a picture just around here to show you how it looks when you let it bake for around one hour, 50 minutes to two hours. Uh, that's a previous uh, rotisserie that I had done. This time I was too hungry and the flavors were just killing us in the house. So I removed it around one hour, 30 minutes, I think, or one hour, 40 minutes because we Hey, I was hungry, man. <laughs> and the flavors were just out of this world. Yani, you're just in the house, but the flavors, zinaongeza nja. So that 20 minutes, singe manage kuvumilia. So, um, <laughs> it's a beautiful scent all over your house that you cannot resist. You just want it, you know. Anyway, I really hope you'll enjoy yours as well. And feel free to have your desired flavors. For me, I went with lemon herb, but you can decide to try with any anything you want. Any um, spice you have, it will go well. And don't substitute butter with margarine. This one won't work. In the event you don't have butter, but you'd like to try this recipe, instead of butter, you can do an oil rub that is uh, mix your spices or your herbs with uh, vegetable oil then that is what you use but don't use margarine i cannot emphasize that enough you have that funny smell no butter blends in well and it holds vizuri and it's moist it's organic so it's nice that's why i prefer it if you're doing your if you're going to go for a rub Either you do a dry rub or if it's a wet rub, use oil or butter. Just those two. I'll see you guys in a future video. Stay safe and remember to smash that subscribe button, like and share.